this is the forest cave. Uh, let me pull up my map and pull up my GPS so I can show you the coordinates. I showed them on another episode, but I'll show them again. We're going to see if our Giga can just stroll on through here like it did on the last time. 11.839.6 and off we go. Come on, Giga. So if you want your very own Giga like this to dominate the caves, all you need to do is find even low-level Gigas, tame them up, and then go to uh, make sure that you have some kibble uh, created, crops, things like that. So you can go through here and get a, an egg, incubate it up, and then make sure it has a full imprint. This guy's got 100% imprint, and it shows. The stat boost that it got from that is just incredible. And I feel bad for murdering the pink threads. Terror bird over there. Terror bird theories. The Rex. Now I've been finding level 140 and 145 Rexes on Dalguero and been teaming them up. So even though that was 140. I've had a bad experience when I've tried to tame cave dinos. Pretty much just waste a bunch of resources and find out I can't tame them. Now, I probably haven't said it yet, but Valguero has been... <clears throat> just a total gift with with the dinos that I've been able to get there it, it's been blowing my mind so I've gotten the great Rexes there I'm trying to think of like the other major dinos I've been able to tame on that map but the Rex have just been awesome and obviously the wyverns that I got now I'm pretty sure that's a Perlovia. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a weird... Ah, I knew it. Perlovia. <laughs> Alright, so that... That works well. Doing good, doing good. Boy, I think uh, I think the Giga is going to be our one-way ticket to Genesis here. <laughs> Because once, uh, once I know I can get through all these caves and get all these artifacts, the next, the next big thing on the list is going to be working towards doing the boss battles. That should be pretty easy to prepare for, the fact that we can make a bunch of gigas for it. Maybe build some turrets and set those up so I can show both strategies. The only thing that I think is going to be a problem is going to be the King Titan. I've never beaten it. So it is on my to-do list. But so far I'm thinking Army of Gigas against the King Titan might, uh, might be the trick. And I have to build a mech suit. I'm going to lose my mind if I don't build a mech suit. Blabbing a lot because uh, the Giga's really not having much of a much of an issue here. Are 
they running? Oh, that's just epic. Oh, I bet you they got spooked by the uh, Allosaurus. Or, no, the, the Yudi. That's what I meant to say. I don't know if I need Megalania Toxin, but that is why I've been killing them. I don't even know if I get it from them. Got some beauty lungs. Ooh, <laughs> don't want to throw away hide. Sweet. Enjoy a fine sip of my Rip It energy drink. Rip It, the gamer drink for cheapskates like myself. Okay, Rip It, now pay me. <laughs> I don't know if anything's back here. Couple of Allosaurs. Oh, purple and green. level is this Allosaur? Holy smokes, 130. Alright, well, my Giga is not feeling too well. So my son freaked me out a little bit about the Giga. He had said something like they, they rage out or something if, if they've gotten too hurt. And, uh, I had never heard of that before. I swear that looks like an explorer note there. Um, because I, I, I've killed Gigas before. I've never had them, like, freak out on me. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I came from... That way, so oh, I'm thinking I gotta go this way. So now I'm a little turned around. Could be wrong. Came down from the water. Maybe that was it. Alright, I'm gonna go this way just to check. So went around something that was pointless. Maybe it was that back there. This is probably the way. Or it's uh, just another little circle. Okay, that was not the way. I'm going to be a little bit more cautious and I might do a little skip ahead here just to force feed my Giga a little bit, get some hit points back. It looks like we've got a UD up there. Yeah. Alright, so I will be back in just a second once we get ourselves some more hit points. Another nice thing about the Giga is that it has got such a huge bite range that um, a lot of times you can just keep backing away and do all the damage to the other guy before they can ever get a bite on you. Ooh, it's getting a little tight. 
Okay, I don't know what that is, but the colors are awesome. Oh man, look at that beauty. Right, we're gonna have to kill everything here because there's a drop. While I'm feeding up this dino, I was thinking about something the other day that would be so cool if they added it to the game. Wouldn't it be neat if you could craft, just like you do with kibble, like a dino health potion? Something, even if you made it stupidly hard to make, it would still be worth it if you could make it. Just, I don't know, the spitball. I'll be back once I've healed up. Another little thing I like to do is I'll, I'll take the health, like right now I'm at 11,000. I was at 11,000 before I kept proceeding forward and then checked it, it was back down to 10. So now I'm gonna take it up to 12. This is a fun little way I pass the time as I'm grinding through chewing up the meat. All right, let's see if anything Comes to chew us up. Looks like it's pretty clear. Ooh, look at that snow owl saddle. Yeah. And it's a blueprint. Although I doubt I'm going to be using snow owls for battle, but it's cool to have a really good blueprint though. I think he's got enough meat on him. Yeah. Okay, this, uh... I forgot how long this cave is. I think the artifact is up here on the right. And this path in the middle takes us down to the pedestal, but again, it's been a minute. Yeah, so there's the pedestal down there. Do not see the artifact. Maybe it's down below? No, it's right here next to me. Okay. Found it. Alright, everyone, this is the artifact. Now the question is, do I murder everything in here just so I can see what's on that pedestal? And the answer is yes. We got an artifact, we got an artifact. Yay! So there's only one cave left. Giga's been in Hurt Town for a little bit though, so I gotta be careful. Might, might take the other Giga that I've got. Then I'm leveling up both of them. Oh yeah, go ahead and go. I'm gonna kill you most of the way before you're done. Still a 12. I don't know if it was just its color or something, but I th it looked like it was alpha. I gotta be really careful about that. Can't be messing around with an alpha rex. Not, well I can, but not with my health the way it is. a 
above 12. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a bleed effect in. Oh, all right. And it was a 150. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna knock the health down pretty good. Just because this one is sort of expendable already. Yeah, we are going to toss that guy out. Let him take some of the aggro, and eventually, it'll die. Got a dino shield. is already looking bad. Yep, dead. That was a fight. <laughs> I definitely need to put some health in. And it was probably obvious, but that point that I spent in health, it was sort of silly. You barely get any health. You're really what you get on your base health is what you're going to have. Because you add any more to it, it really doesn't do much. I just want to get him back to at least 10 because I think we've killed nearly everything down here. A couple other things up on the platform, but I don't think anything of too much concern. But I'm going to heal up to 13 this time and be back in just a second. There we go, we're back to 13,000. Okay. Now what I also want to do is I want to find where my Rex died. Because I'm going to want that saddle. I think there's a couple of bags here. <laughs> I get that for my son just in case he needs it. Okay, let's finish out the fun. There we 
got a UD. And I think another Allosaurus. Oh, there's a red drop over there. I think the only real threat that I'm being extra careful about is the um, Allosaurus. It's because they're... Uh, their bleeding effect really takes a toll. <laughs> you guys seemed a little underpowered for this cave. Looks like we got a Rex here that uh, is having some problems in life. Can't really figure out. <laughs> they get stuck on the things? Either way, we'll let him have fun for a little bit. Leather boots is is oh this is an ascendant. Oh this was a win right here. Why am why is my brain mixed up? Okay. 107 saddle. That that is great. That that is just amazing. Very happy. It's definitely worth coming over and getting those drops. The cave drops. It just can't be beat. Alright, I'm starting to feel bad for you, buddy. I, I, don't, I don't want you to have to live out your days in this cave that way. See, I, I have compassion. I, I'm a kind, kind arc player. Alright, I see some Allosauruses over here. Or no, I want to take beauty and some carnos. Oh no, not even a beauty. It's a couple of theories, terror birds, and a carno. Well, that wasn't of much concern. The allosauruses are up there though. Got another. Confused Rex here. Ooh, that that was a high-level Megalosaurus there. I don't see either one of them glowing, so I shouldn't get the bleed effect. But I think I'm gonna have to eat some of this meat because our weight is a little too high. So it's not going to hurt either, because I'll eat up this meat, that way I can get this uh, Giga, Giga's health up. And then maybe we just go right to the next cave after this. I'm pretty sure the entrance to the snow cave is just right outside the snow biome, if I remember correctly. with these micro raptors. Mm. Now the Desert Titan Terminal was Sarco Skins. <clears throat> that was the extra resource for that. We'll see what the Forest Titan Terminal is. This has either got to be UD brains or Alla or UD lungs or Allosaurus brains, considering the enemies from this cave. All right, is he able to move a little bit better? Yeah, a little. He's still pretty overweight right now. Oh, 
Now there are three Perlovia mounds just sitting there. Not sure if those will pop with me on the platform, but we'll see. With this, we have murdered everything. Now let's see if they pop. Doesn't look like it. That is. So, I have a technique here. Uh, I wish I could take a picture of it, but it's sort of funny. I use a hair tie, one of my daughter's hair ties, and I wrap it around the trigger. And then I'll set that down on the desk. And usually I can get it to where the trigger is held down. And the hair tie is doing the work, and I'm hands free now. So. I'm going to let this happen. Uh, one, I got to heal up. Two, this gig has got to get rid of a lot of weight because it can barely move. So we're going to let this go for a little while. Uh, heal up the giga. Nothing's going to respawn probably for a, a minute. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, so that has been obviously going for a while. 20... 1,000 on the health, which is good, but we are still way overweight. But if we can at least move around now, let's see. It's not bad. Okay. We're not really going to be killing much else now. So this is... <laughs> Artifact of growth, nice. Corrupted heart. Oh, we we have those. We have, we've got all that, so we could do this Titan boss. I don't think we have enough corrupted hearts, but still, we've got the other things. So I think we're gonna get this guy back up to the top. I'll figure out what I'm able to carry back to base because uh, my wyvern can only carry so much and obviously I have to transfer the stuff out of my Giga's inventory to my wyvern. But if we can do the winter cave, I was pretty sure that this was the longest one. I don't think the other cave is, takes as long as this one. But then at least we've gotten all the artifacts. And we can focus on getting ourselves down to just farming corrupted hearts. I'm just going to drop the pelt. Looks like we got a drop that came back. Oh, come on. 
Come on. Yeah, we got the pelt back. Ugh. Somehow get it already? All right. I really hate those Prolovias. I think we're close to being out of here. And I enjoyed this much better without having to worry about bringing a thousand or a thousand four Rexes with me. It's just a little bit more smooth. Sort of fitting too that we got that Ascendant Quetz saddle after my son helped me get a Quetz. Mm. Well, it happened. They respawned in the time that we were refeeding. I don't see any of them glowing. And that is the forest cave. So we've got another cave in the books. <laughs> 